Recently, the House of Representatives enacted Secure 2.0, now this is a new retirement measure that's intended to expand upon the SECURE Act of 2019. Now SECURE 2.0, it's designed to simplify the retirement process by adding three significant enhancements that should help a lot of folks have their savings go a lot further. Now currently, the Senate, they're reviewing the new measure. So it's not yet law, but it is bipartisan. So in anticipation that this will pass, I wanted to give you a couple of details. First and foremost, if you're investing in a 401k or conventional IRA, you understand that as you put money in there, you're not paying taxes on it. And at some age, you've got to start taking money out. That's called your required minimum distribution. Currently, that's age 72. Regardless of being ready to retire or needing the money, you got to take it. Uh, and it's because you owe income tax on that money. And Uncle Sam ultimately wants those tax revenues on your money. Now, RMDs also prevent you from keeping your savings tax sheltered in your retirement account into perpetuity. Now, in 2019, the original SECURE Act, when it passed, it increased the age at which requirement uh, distributions had to come out uh, from age 70 and a half to age 72. Now, the new SECURE 2.0, it proposes increasing it to age 75 by 2032. So, if you want to work well into your 70s, the new law actually allows you to keep your assets in your retirement account for a longer period of time giving the money more opportunity to grow and build for when you officially are ready to retire. Now, second, Secure 2.0 also attempts to assist folks with college debts uh, by having them be able to have a match going into retirement. Uh, see, as an increasing number of Americans have student loan debt, this law should help employees of all ages save more. Employer matched 401k contributions are a provision of the pr proposed legislations. Employers now can match employee contributions to qualified student loan repayment dollar for dollar. Thus, if somebody paid in $200 towards student debts, your employer could contribute $200 towards your 401k. Now, why? Well, this concept prevents workers from having to choose between debt repayment and debt reduction and retirement savings. Many 401k plans currently include employer matching contributions. We know this. This measure is going to help allow and ensure that workers paying off student loans don't miss out on the advantages of that match. Third, the existing rule allows people 50 and older to invest more money in their retirement accounts than younger counterparts. This is called the catch-up uh, phase. Now, currently, these contributions are restricted to an additional 6500s annually for 401ks and $1,000 annually for IRAs. Secure 2.0, well, it suggests a greater annual cap of $10,000 for people between age 62 and 65. Now, if you've fallen behind on your savings and can take advantage of these catch-up contributions, this increased cap might go a long way towards just um, padding that nest egg and making it a bit more substantial. Now, as I'd mentioned before, only the House of Representatives has approved Secure 2.0. And it's likely that the Senate will probably create its own version of the law before anything passes. But most believe it is likely to pass by the end of 22, uh, 2022 because it is a bipartisan bill. Now, hopefully, by keeping up with the most recent retirement rules, you can maximize your funds and enter your golden years as prepared as possible. So let us know if you have any additional questions. As you know, we're always here to help.